This is a short introduction to a course of five research modules offered by the Danish Association of Psychotherapy. The research modules are offered to psychotherapy students who are attending a professional psychotherapy program in an institute that is certified by the Danish Association of Psychotherapy. It's also open to members of the association and also to practitioners, teachers and students who are members of the European Association for Psychotherapy. Dansk Psykoterapeutforening udbyder nu forskningsmoduler til alle vores studerende, der studerer på alle de institutter, der er godkendt af os i Dansk Psykoterapeutforening. Det gør vi, fordi vi gerne vil bidrage til, at de studerende på vores institutter også får et videnskabsteoretisk forskningsmæssigt blik på den uddannelse, de er i gang med. Den her forskningsuddannelse bidrager til, at vores bevidsthed omkring det her meget vigtige håndværk, vi laver som psykoterapeuter, at vi også får et forskningsmæssigt blik på det. At vi får løftet os op i helikopteren og får kigget på vores egen praksis og får diskuteret den her praksis med kollegaer fra andre terapeutiske retninger fra andre institutter. Det oplever, at vi giver en kæmpe, øh, giver en kæmpe gave øh, for vores studerende at opleve. Og, øh, på den længere bane vil det også være rigtig vigtigt, at vi bliver rigtig gode til at beskrive vores praksis, at vi kan skrive om det, og vi kan bidrage til den forskning i psykoterapi, der er så meget brug for. There are five modules in all. The five modules are together about 50 hours of face-to-face learning. It all takes place on an online virtual learning platform where we're using Zoom as our seminar room. The modules are typically delivered every other weekday over five sessions that are each two hours long. There is one to two hours of preparation between each session. The modules are delivered in two languages. We teach in English and we teach in Danish. So the very first module is called Introduction to Research Principles, and it deals with basic uh, approaches within psychotherapy or research in psychotherapy. It provides you with uh, an understanding of some of the, the criteria that we use when we evaluate psychotherapeutic research like reliability, validity. You get hands-on understanding of what is the relation between psychotherapy and research, how you can research in your own practice as a psychotherapist, and how it is helpful to navigate within the world of science, more broadly speaking. Of course, there are many questions that are still unanswered within psychotherapy, and some of them we will be addressing, And there will also be an opportunity to engage in questions about um, how to make sure that what you're doing is actually based in some kind of evidence, some kind of robust evidence. This here module, there will you meet a mass of knowledge about aktionsforskning og det at forske i egen praksis som psykoterapeut. Og vi tager udgangspunkt i selvfølgelig rødderne og historien omkring aktionsforskning og videnskabsteorien, som du vil blive klogere på. Men her vil du også blive introduceret til forskellige metoder, som man kan anvende som psykoterapeut, når man arbejder med Øh, aktionsforskning. Og formålet er, at øh, du kommer ud med en viden om, hvordan du kan arbejde øh, som psykoterapeut med forskning. Øh, og det har en rigtig stor betydning, fordi at det, at man kan kvalificere øh, det arbejde, man allerede har gang i som psykoterapeut, øh, gør, at man højner øh, sin egen praksis, men også er med til at udvikle den forskning, der er på området. Og det, der er det centrale i det, tænker jeg, det er, at det er noget, du kan forholde dig til. Jeg er helt sikker på, at når du arbejder med terapi, så kan du også arbejde med aktionsforskning. 
Uh, vi er vant til at reflektere over vores arbejde. Uh, vi er vant til at, at sørge for, at der er en ordentlig uh, atmosfære, en tryg uh, atmosfære, når vi arbejder med klienterne. Vi er vant til at kigge på og, og have en opmærksomhed på den relation og hvad der sker imellem os. Vi er vant til at kigge ind i og hjælpe med vores faglighed, hjælpe uh, klienten til at og, uh, og ligesom forstå tingene på en ny måde, de problemstillinger, de kommer op med. Og det er virkelig noget af det, der er det essentielle i aktionsforskning, at vi hjælper nogen til at forstå deres egen problemstilling bedre. Phenomenology is a tradition, that has some close historical links with psychotherapy. And in the phenomenology module, we explore this tradition to learn from it about some of the ways that it understands human consciousness. We explore concepts such as intentionality and embodiment and, and how these can help us to, to make sense from a research perspective uh, of the subtle, uh, subtle realm of lived experience. So really we're looking for tools that psychotherapists can use in a practical way to rigorously research their own practice, drawing on the phenomenological tradition. Uh, the course itself is both a short, or will consist of a short uh, theoretical introduction to phenomenology. We will touch upon some of the names like Roussel, Sartre, Malipantu, but the major part will be more practice oriented, both how to use phenomenology in your practice as a psychotherapist, but also how to do research from a phenomenological point of view in your own practice. And there'll be small exercises and there'll be small case studies that we'll be, be working with as well. In the module uh, Mixed Methods and Quantitative Research in Psychotherapy, our aim is really to uh, look at and understand the context in which quantitative research in psychotherapy emerged, um, but also to look at the present and to understand different genres or different types of quantitative research um, that are currently uh, dominating psychotherapeutic practice. Um, but then we also, on the module, discuss how quantitative research is just one language or one way of doing research. And we also uh, kind of uh, want to understand how psychotherapeutic process can be understood quantitatively as well as qualitatively. Um, so we look at mixed methods research as a new set of tools that psychotherapists can use to examine their practice. Um, and we discuss mixed methods as a potentially a new paradigm for psychotherapy research as a, some sort of a, a multilingual approach to research in psychotherapy. Um, in terms of the pedagogical methods that uh, we draw on on the module, um, there's a little bit of lecturing combined with uh, a lot of group work, reflections, as well as uh, doing the actual reading. So the emphasis here is both on kind of research literacy, um, so being able to read different uh, types of uh, research in psychotherapy, quantitative and mixed methods, uh, but also on kind of research readiness as well. So developing a set of skills that if you are, feel comfortable, um, you can engage in, in some form of mixed method or quantitative research of your own practice as well. Modulet forskning i en praksis bygger fuldstændig på learning by doing. Det vil sige, gennem handling at blive klogere, at blande sig med virkeligheden, blive klogere. Vi kommer til at arbejde i små grupper, hvor I skal bruge alt det materiale, I har lært gennem tidligere moduler. Bruge dem som baggrund for at sætte små projekter op, hvor I undersøger jeres egen praksis hjemme hos jer selv, og med gruppen som støtte øh, sted, hvor I kan inspirere hinanden. Og blive klogere på jeres egen professionelle profil ved at sammenligne jer med andre. Og samtidig hver især udvikler jeg professionelt som psykoterapeuter.